Nice looking group. Hey, listen, at least it's warm in here. Look at that. Yeah, what about it? It's a five-pointed star. Well, maybe the owners are from Texas. <laughs> Remember the Alamo. I beg your pardon? Oh, he was just joking. Joking? I remember the Alamo. I saw it once in London, in Leicester Square. She means in the cinema, that film with John Wayne. Oh, yeah, of course. Checkmate. Right, with Lawrence Harvey, and everybody dies in it. Very bloody. Bloody awful, if you ask me. <laughs> Here, Gladys, Tom, did you hear the one about the rushing oh, no, no joke, woman, and let me speak. Ask him what the candles are for. <laughs> you ask him. All right, left then, a shot to it. No, no, imagine oh, chance. Oh. It's a pentangle, a five-pointed star. It's used in witchcraft. Lonchini Jr. and Universal Studios maintain that's the mark of the wolf man. Oh, I see. And you want me to ask them if they're burning candles to ward off monsters? Right. <laughs> Wrong. All right, then. There was this airplane over the Atlantic on its way to New York. And it was full of men from the United Nations. Oh, <laughs> Go on, ask them. You ask them. So halfway over the ocean, the engines run low on petrol. So they have to lighten the plane. So they heave out all the baggage, but it's still too heavy. So they chuck out all the seats, but it's still too heavy. Finally, this froggy steps up, shouts, Vive la France, and leaps out. Then an Englishman. Yeah. He steps up, shouts, God save the Queen, and he leaps out. But the plane is still too heavy. So the Yank delegate from Texas, he steps up, shouts, Remember the Alamo and jokes out the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've never missed that board before. Uh, Jack, we better go. 